Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Have you ever wondered how businesses determine the point at which they start making a profit? Or how do they decide whether a product or service is worth pursuing? The answer often lies in a tool called break-even analysis. But what exactly is break-even analysis? How does it work? What are its major benefits and challenges? In this video, I'll discuss these questions with you. Section 1, Definition Break-even analysis is a financial tool used to determine the point at which a company's revenue equals its total costs, resulting in neither profit nor loss. This point is known as the break-even point, or BEP. The analysis helps businesses understand how many units of a product or service they need to sell to cover their fixed and variable costs. Section 2, Key Components Break-even analysis is built on three fundamental components, fixed costs, variable costs, and sales price per unit. Let's discuss them in detail. Number 1. Fixed costs. Fixed costs are expenses that remain constant regardless of how many units a company produces or sells. These costs must be paid even if no products are sold. Examples include rent, salaries, insurance, utilities, and equipment depreciation. For instance, if EcoCup, a reusable coffee cup maker, rents office space for $5,000 per month, this cost stays the same whether the company sells 10 cups or 10,000 cups. Fixed costs are crucial in break-even analysis because they represent the baseline expenses that must be covered before the company can start making a profit. Number 2. Variable costs. Variable costs fluctuate directly with the level of production or sales. These costs increase as more units are produced and decrease when fewer units are made. Examples of variable costs include raw materials, packaging, shipping, and manufacturing labor. In EcoCup's case, the cost of producing each reusable coffee cup, such as the materials used, would be considered a variable cost. If EcoCup spends $5 per cup on materials and packaging, this cost will increase in direct proportion to the number of cups produced. Variable costs are important because they directly impact the margin between revenue and expenses for each unit sold. Number 3. Sales Price Per Unit The sales price per unit is the amount a company charges customers for one unit of its product or service. This figure represents the revenue the company earns from each unit sold before deducting any costs. In break-even analysis, the sales price per unit is compared to the variable cost to determine the contribution margin, the portion of each sale that contributes to covering fixed costs. For example, if EcoCup sells each cup for $15, this figure becomes part of the break-even equation. The relationship between the sales price and variable cost helps determine how many units must be sold to cover both fixed and variable costs. By calculating the difference between the sales price and the variable cost, businesses can determine how many units they need to sell to cover their fixed costs. The formula for the break-even point is the following, for example, in EcoCup's case, if its fixed costs, such as rent, salaries, and marketing, total $50,000, while the variable cost per cup, including materials and packaging, is $5. If they plan to sell each cup for $15, the break-even calculation would be as follows, this means EcoCup needs to sell 5,000 reusable cups to cover all its costs. Any sales beyond 5,000 units will generate a profit. Section 3, Benefits of Break-Even Analysis Using break-even analysis offers several advantages to businesses. Number 1. Informed decision-making. Break-even analysis helps businesses make informed decisions about pricing, cost management, and sales targets. By knowing the break-even point, managers can set realistic sales goals and adjust production levels accordingly. Number 2. Risk management. By calculating the break-even point, companies can evaluate the financial risk of launching a new product or entering a new market. This analysis allows businesses to anticipate how much they need to sell to avoid losses. Number 3. Financial planning. Break-even analysis helps with financial planning by providing insights into the minimum sales needed to cover costs. It allows businesses to forecast revenues, manage expenses, and plan for profitability. Section 4, Challenges of Break-even Analysis While break-even analysis is useful, it does have some limitations. Number 1. Assumptions of constant costs. Break-even analysis assumes that fixed and variable costs remain constant, but in reality, costs can fluctuate over time. For example, variable costs may rise due to inflation or supply chain disruptions, affecting the accuracy of the analysis. Number 2. Focus on sales quantity. 
Break-even analysis focuses primarily on the number of units sold, but it doesn't account for other factors like market demand, competition, or customer preferences, which can impact actual sales performance. Number 3. Limited to short-term analysis. Break-even analysis is most effective for short-term decision-making. Over the long term, factors such as changes in technology, market conditions, or product life cycles may require adjustments to the break-even calculation. Section 5, Summary. In conclusion, break-even analysis is a valuable financial tool that helps businesses determine the point at which they cover all their costs and start making a profit. By analyzing fixed costs, variable costs, and sales prices, companies can calculate their break-even point and use it to make informed decisions about pricing, production, and financial planning. While it has its challenges, including assumptions about constant costs and sales focus, break-even analysis remains a critical tool for managing risk and setting realistic goals. That's all for today's topic. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.